What is going on guys, today I'm going to be showing you the new update in Roblox Odyssey Trip, so let's get straight into the video. So starting off, we're going to be looking at the map selection. As you can see, there's a new UI right here that shows which map you're going to be in. So if you walk into it, you choose the map for this example. Then it says auto start in 7 seconds, so it's different. They still get the 15 seconds and it actually shows you the map. But if you look down to the bottom left, you see season pass, which you can see the battle pass or season pass whatever you want to call it and i have the premium pass and uh it's pretty cool you get some pretty cool rewards like a metal wrap on the premium side you get metal wrap red glass wrap black glass wrap platinum ak-47 orange wood wrap and a phantom car then on the free side you get the ether wrap ak-47 65 coins tone carbon wrap a deagle which is pretty cool red and blue glass wrap then a street wagon car at the end so it is free to play a little bit which is pretty cool then over here you can go over here and uh this will show up or you can just click down here click car spin then it will show you this i have so many clips of me buying these i spent like five thousand robux on this it would really help me out if you subbed and like so i can make my money back somehow or at least it'd be worth it and it wasn't all a waste and as you can see i got the black foil wrap and the golden minigun but the golden minigun isn't infinite it's not limited so you can't just like keep putting it in your backpack it's only an item so if you lose it it's gone forever which is why i'm probably going to keep it stashed but if you come back over here there's a daily reward thing which is pretty cool and on day 14 you get a black neon wrap then on the other days you just get coins you, then you can go to skin crate i spent like alone on this one um I, sp I think i spent like 2k on this alone then on this one i spent like 2.5k on it. i know I spent the rest on the, the season pass, which to level up the season pass, you can buy skips, which to max it out for me is 1300, which uh, a better deal is just to buy this if you wanted to. It's just a thousand Robux. It's only $10. If you have the money, might as well. If you really want the car. Otherwise, uh, don't do it. Then you can go to daily quests, which is how you get the XP to level up the season pass, which is pretty cool. How they actually added quests. Then what I really want to get is this helicopter. Me and my friend Apex, we were in a VC and he spent like 5k on just this one alone and he didn't even get the helicopter. He got everything. The car I mainly want is the Apex Racer because, well, it's Apex. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And if you're just going to buy single ones, don't buy a bunch of them. Might as well just buy the 10 rounds. You can also skip animation, which when you buy it, it'll all show down here. So you don't have to just like watch it go through. Then here are the prizes right here. It shows you the chances, so 40%, 12%, 8%, so on and so on. The helicopter is 1%, which is pretty crazy because you have to get an 8% chance and you have to get a 1% chance. What would be cool that Jandal would add is uh, how many exist, like how many of the car exist. Like for the helicopter, it'd be like 100 exist. Then like for the cars, it, it could just like show down here. It'd just say like exists 10 or like 20, you know what I mean. But that's it for this update, and now I'm going to show you the map, the new map so let's select the planes one player start it all right once you load into this map it's pretty cool because it's a new spawn area once you get out you don't want to go out this door where you can but you just want to go out this front door grab this gas if you don't have any other cars if the van's right there if you need it this starter car is right here but the cars you buy spawn over here then the helicopter would spawn right here which I will get the helicopter. I will spend a bunch of money just to get it. Then when you fuel up their car, it is very important that you get all the gas and water and oil as you can. Because every car now uses it hell of a lot. Like, you can go 2,000 meters and you'll be out of gas if you had 9 liters in. Then in the other desert map, uh, last update, before this update, you could just go like 10,000 meters without refueling this car. And if you are using the RV and it spawns right here, it sucks because it'll go over the fence and it won't work. But that's going to be pretty much it. And I'll just show you this actually real quick. And I recommend using one of these exclusive cars, even if you're playing with your friends, to get extra gas. So I'm going to fuel this up real quick. Right, I'm going to close that, make sure it's closed. Then I'm just going to drive straight and not stop at all. Also, the, there are new buildings, which is really cool. There are like a couple different buildings, like a barn, a house. It's like all different. It's all new buildings besides the church, with the, which has the vampire. But let's just keep going straight. So Nightshade is the fastest car still in the game. There is one of the new houses right there. It's a natural house. And there's these telephone wire poles, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, here's the barn. It has a lot of loot in it. Or not the barn, but like the, um, I forget what it's called. 
but it's pretty good. All of them have a lot of loot in it, but there are less rocks in the road, which is really helpful. And the nightshade also has a light too, so you can just turn it on right there. There's another building right there, it's a greenhouse. And the nightshade is still the fastest car in the game. I tested it out earlier with my friend Apex. He got some of the new cars, most of them besides like the wheel chances, and I hit the rock. But I'm chilling. And realistically, all you need is one car. That's really good. Buy like collecting cars and wraps. It's really fun. Oh, there are also new world events. There's like two of them that I've seen so far. Actually, three. There's a plane crashing. There's like these meteor rock things that blow up your thing. I don't know how to explain it. It's like the sky goes pink and it starts blowing up stuff. Oh yeah, there's the church, by the way. That's the only building that stayed. The other one is acid rain. Also, these gas stations in the pumps, there's 11 gas in each pump. So 11 liters of gas, which is really OP. Then once you get to 5,000 meters, there is a river, and that's how you get across, and you need gas to get across, or oil. Either of those work. You just need gas or oil. About 3 liters of it, so you can get to the other side. Otherwise, you're cooked. You're not, you're not getting through. Yeah, oh no, I went too fast. Oh, what the heck? No, yeah, you die if he touches the river. I don't know how I just went straight through that. I was going a little too fast. All right, so that's going to be the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me out. And I spent a lot of money on this video. So just to make this video, I spent like 5K and I didn't get anything good. Besides the wraps and the golden minion, which I'll be rating in another video. But without further ado, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video, which is probably going to be today or tomorrow. Depends on when I edit it. All right, well, I'll see you.